Trial Chamber 5 said to try the Kenyan cases will now have to take a decision on the modalities for contacting witnesses by either of the legal teams because the prosecution and Mutara's defense team have simply failed to agree even on the very definition of a witness. Procedure for contacting witnesses remains sketchy with the Mutara team failing yet again to agree with the prosecution office on the modalities surrounding his or either side's witnesses being approached. The prosecution proposes that a witness shall refer to any person whom a party or participant intends to call to testify during the trial proceedings, provided that such intention has been conveyed to the non-calling party. But Muthara's defense team has an alternative proposal to the definition of a witness and holds that it shall refer to any individual whom the party or participant is aware or have reasonable grounds to believe have provided a statement to or otherwise met with members of another party as part of that party's substantive investigation into the case. Bensuda, however, argues that Muthara's definition is far too broad and could include virtually everyone forcing the prosecution to reveal all the individuals that it meets, which she argues could seriously jeopardize their security. Now, while Bensuda is seeking to have witnesses contact the opposing party without the knowledge of the party that they testify for, Muthara is strongly against it, insisting that all parties must be aware if and when any witness is contacted. Jackie Maribe for News at 8.